One, I think one of the things that bothers most doctors is the administrative tasks. I mean, there's just so much, um, what's the word, nonsense that, you know, you have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis from insurance companies and from um, uh, regulators and so forth. You know, if they're there for a reason, I, I hate to use the word nonsense, but it's a lot of extra busy work. I think that's the best word. It's, it's not the science that we signed up for. Um, that we know about. The other thing is, you know, I really would have encouraged my, my, my younger self to learn more about business, learn more about, um, you know, how to invest money, how to uh, start a practice potentially. Although I'm a university setting, I think that one of the things that we have a deficit in, in terms of medical education is the business aspect of it. A lot of these, uh, the best physicians I know are just awful at managing money. So I think that that's important to, to have a course in that. And then the other uh, big uh, trendy but relevant thing these days is, um, you know, uh, care disparity, disparities. I think there's a lot of uh, underserved um, uh, patients out there who uh, can't get medicines, can't get access to health care that we just are just now scratching the surface of how to help these folks. And so there's a lot of work to be done in this arena that I think really should be further emphasized in medical school. They probably don't do enough with about serving underserved and, and poor people um, who are socially disadvantaged, if that's the, the term these days. But you know what I'm saying? The folks that are working two, three jobs and they're hardworking people um, and just don't have the full access that uh, the rest of us do to healthcare and uh, the medicines and, and devices and so forth. And so, uh, that's what I would change, if anything, about the, uh, my own education and, and the, uh, the education of, of medicine in general.